Hi, my name is Lynn Wainwright. I teach first grade at Payne Elementary in Trustful. And um, yes, I am finishing up my 16th year of teaching first grade. And I love it now just as much as I did the first year I taught first grade. It is, um, first grade is a year of tremendous growth. First grade is a year when you can see actual, I feel like it's miracles take place with these babies because um, they come to us in first grade with just that little bit of letter sound knowledge um, and maybe blending some letters together. And by the end of the year, if you've done your job well and provided them with lots of good experiences, then they're reading fluently, they're reading accurately, they're comprehending what they're reading, and it is a beautiful thing. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I am the type of teacher that is very committed to intervention. I love being at my intervention table. I love small groups, I love one-on-one. -on -one. I love it because I know that it is the most valuable time of the day for our struggling and at-risk students. That time when they are given small group instruction and it is tailored to them and their needs and the main focus is to take them from where they are to as far as they can go, it is amazing how impactful that type of instruction is and it is vital. It is vital to our struggling and at-risk students. They have to have high quality, effective intervention if they are going to be readers. And that has always been my main focus and my main goal in first grade. Like my babies, I want them to be strong readers when they leave me. So intervention time has always been a priority with me. I've probably spent um, much more time at the intervention table than I was supposed to, but I felt like that was where the need was. And so as long as my other babies were busy, reading good books, taking AR tests, working on different literacy activities, writing stories, um, partner reading with each other, I felt like I could spend that extra time at my intervention table with my students. And so my lessons at that intervention table were usually um, cold reads, new, you know, repeated readings, um, and coaching them in the decoding strategies that they didn't already use um, proficiently. And so looking back now, I can see that there was something missing. And I am so excited because this year <laughs> I was given the opportunity to implement the Sunday intervention system in my classroom. Um, we use the Essentials 1 in first grade for our Tier 2 intervention. And I love it. Like, I cannot stress to you how much I love this program. From the songs, the music that was incorporated in it, my children loved that. We sang that ABC song even after it wasn't in um, the actual lesson plans anymore because they loved it and they got excited about it. And kids who are excited about learning, learn at higher levels. So um, it is a very systematic and progressive program. It is the easiest program I have ever used because it is user-friendly, guys. It is not the type of program with a teacher's manual where you have got to go home and read for 30 minutes to an hour the night before so that you know how to implement. You know, it's not where somebody has written a dissertation for you to read before you can implement the lessons. It is so simple to use. It is very um, effective in that the introduction of new sounds, um, is at a slow enough pace so that these students get that constant repeat of that sound throughout the week. Um, and then every Friday there is a mastery test. So you know immediately, did they get it? Did they master this sound? Are they remembering this sound? And, um, and if not, you can go back and address that. The other thing um, that I loved about it is that even though it is progressing and adding new sounds, it is constantly spiraling back and including the previous sounds and the previous spelling patterns in with each new lesson. And so the students are getting lots and lots of practice each day with letter sounds, with um, reading words, with writing letter sounds and with writing words. And um, it is a multi-sensory program, so it incorporates into um, the reading and the writing. It incorporates 
um, the touch spelling where students are actually counting out the sounds and um, blending those sounds together before they are trying to write a word, before they're trying to spell it. I'm listening to it in my head. I'm touch spelling it on my fingers. And then when I know that I know it, then I'm picking up that pen and I'm writing. And um, that daily practice of them touch spelling the sounds and writing the sounds and the words that we were learning was so valuable. And it was, I mean, I'll admit, it was something that I had not done before in intervention. Like, you know, writing is, it takes a while with first graders. And um, so this program sees the benefit in it and the research behind it, that writing is a huge and integral part of a student's mastery of the alphabetic principle and being able to read and write. Um, another thing that I absolutely loved about it was that the students enjoyed it. Like they loved coming to intervention time. They loved counting down the lessons. When we got to lesson 95, 96, they were like, we're almost to lesson 100. We've done 100 lessons this year. And they were so proud of themselves. And when they did that mastery test every Friday and they saw, oh my gosh, I made a 95, I made a 100, I'm rocking and rolling. And you know, and I was able to also address things like handwriting. And um, I was always encouraging them, you know, I wanna see really good handwriting today, guys. Make sure you're writing as neat as you can. Um, we're getting ready for second grade. We want it to look like second grade handwriting. And they just rose to my expectations. And they made phenomenal progress this year based on the data um, with the STAR early literacy test that we take. They were growing by leaps and bounds in that. They quickly moved into taking the STAR reading test and were the, the children in my group, they were reading on grade level, they were reading AR books, they were taking tests, and they were successful. And um, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, when we went home March 13th, and I knew that I was not gonna be teaching in the classroom the rest of the year, this was what I missed the most. And um, I, I wanted to continue intervention lessons um, some way, somehow, and that just wasn't possible with the situation that, that we were under. But um, I cannot stress enough that this program works and it will be a valuable tool to any literacy teacher, um, especially first grade teachers. You will love this program and you will see great and amazing growth in your students. And I just thank you for this opportunity um, of allowing me to share with you my experience that I had this year with the Sunday system. Thank you.